Dancing Kid. Hi guys. Uh, welcome to MC2. So today's introduction is actually pretty straightforward. So I won't go through in depth, but uh, we're going to share with you a bit on the things that we carry today on the Zipline applications. So it's our first ever live show. So if you have any friends or family that you think that have any needs in terms of Zipline application or any interior design stuff, please like and share and we will you know, get to them. So, in view of the coronavirus, actually, there are a few things before I even go further. I'd like to share with you guys that uh, all our clients actually now have to, you know, it's a mandatory purpose uh, that you to go through to sign in. You're going to have to lock in the temperature. We sanitize our sample books twice daily. Uh, every day, we take temperatures and everything. So, we even provide free hand sanitizer. So for those of you guys, you know, who need any hand sanitizer, just drop by here at MC2. All right, moving on, come this way. So awkward. So guys, I'll start with a bit of introduction on our curtain selection here. Here in MC2, we have a lot of range from designer fabrics to the normal economical range over here. Like what you're looking at here right now is from John Paul Cortier. I know he recently retired. So I wouldn't go too in depth, like I said earlier, just to give you a bit of demonstration on how it looks like, you know, the types of fabrics that we have over here. All right. I'm going to bring you guys up to level two right now, which is what I call the LTEX Experience Center. Uh, right. So here we go. Okay, so over here is where we feature all our smart home products. Uh, it's actually one of our newly renovated place. Of course, over the time, we might have a few series that we will go through on a certain products, you know, like smart home features. Same thing. Here, uh, actually I'd like to show you some cool stuff. Actually. So I'm actually going to showcase to you, this is what we call a smart slurm. So it's like... So it's like, now you see me, and now you don't. Very suitable for clients that have, you know, a partition wall, or, you know, if you want to partition a place, you want to go for the very slick design, you don't have any curtains or blinds, this is the perfect solution to digital print or this not an issue as well something that I have to show you as well which is the most common topic right now you hear from elsewhere is what we call zip blinds so very short ones why do people even use zip blinds in general you know, the idea of zip blinds is to fully maximize your outdoor space your balcony making it a healthier living space you know, we have clients using them when they shut down for sun shading purposes, everyone uses them for different purposes. You can use them, you know, there are clients that put pool tables outside, dining, alfresco dining and stuff like that. Fully automation here for MC2. So the one you're looking at right now here, this is from our brand, LTEX Secure Zip actually. And some of you might even be wondering, hey Jay, you know, do I have a color scheme? Do I have to go for any color scheme like that? Actually, you know, it really depends on who you are residing. So the most common ones we do are for ECs, condominiums, like uh, and stuff like that. So most of the time, clients will ask, hey, "Jay, what color should I go for?" So to answer this very generic question, most of the color scheme for condos, ECs, they actually been approved or uh, pre-approved by your management, by your architects, for developers. So for us, we have done many many projects. You know, if you have any projects that you want us to, to take a look at, please send us a PM and we'll get someone to assist you on that. Pretty straightforward, I wouldn't go too in depth today like I promised you guys, I wouldn't take up too much time of you guys. Come, let's move further down. By the way guys, we do feature walls like this as well. Uh, Chevron Design, Oak Engineered Timber. For, you know, for artistic minds, you guys will love it. 
I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite areas. Okay guys, welcome. Uh, this is Hana Douglas. For those of you who have not heard of Hana Douglas, the brand is one of the top brands in the entire world, 101 years history in the industry. Uh, I myself personally, I'm using these lines at my house actually myself. Uh, so I'd like to showcase a little bit. I know I have a lot of clients that are actually having issues with um, sound, with heat. Something that you can consider going for is what we call, this is uh, honeycomb blinds. Or some countries they call it cellular shades. So these are actually designed, come here, take a look here. So you see all these, all these, all these air pockets and stuff like that. So it helps to trap the air, you know, this aluminum piece helps to reflect heat. So we have this very cool technology over here, we call this top-down, bottom-up blinds. I know a lot of you guys have been under asking, like, hey, Jay, where, where do I get blinds? Like, you know, it can come down from here and here and there, a bit weird, weird kind of stuff. Actually, here, these blinds here, actually, they provide you with all those functions. So the idea of top-down, bottom-up, okay, is to actually give you natural lighting from the top, while you still maintain your privacy from the sides. Tell you guys a joke, uh. actually, I have a client, uh, you know, he, he purchased these blinds, telling me, say, hey, Jay, I have this habit of, of walking around naked in my house and he stays at the ground level, patio level. So I said, oh, naked. Uh. And I said, uh, okay, if you want to maintain your privacy at the same time, you want to have natural lighting in from the top. This is definitely, definitely the ideal blinds you should go for. Okay, don't get me wrong, I'm not asking you to go naked at your house, but then again, it's your house. So <laughs> basically, um, very flexible range, so, so this in return gives you energy efficiency, cost efficiency. You know, if you want to go for something much more luxe, you know, you can go for a day fabric at the top here. This is the dual light from Hannah Douglas. We have two fabrics, color-wise, insane color choices. We have huge, huge, huge color choice. So you see, the idea is to diffuse the light, to filter off the lights and stuff like that. Pretty, pretty straightforward system. It's in fact one of Hannah Douglas' most basic systems. Then for those of you I know that not so tech savvy, say AJ, I tr don't want to go for automation. How? Got manual or not? Have, of course. We have a lot of manual system here. Uh, I'll go through little, a little bit of the manual system they can consider. I'd like to show you actually my personal favorite. Can zip lines be controlled by mobile app? Can zip lines be controlled by mobile app? Well, the question is a very good question indeed. Yes, the answer is yes. For us, MC2 here, we are the, one of the pioneers that do zip lines in Singapore. And we are you know, a company that embraces technology. So basically, mobile app, not an issue. For us, for those of you who want to do your own home automation yourself, you know, you're asking like, hey, can I use a like, broad link to link? Can I use another integration to link with my, with, with uh, MC2 zip lines? Uh, the answer is actually by right, no. Uh, we are all using Sonfi Motos here and it's a very proprietary system. So you all have to go through this thing called Sonfi Connect Soon. It's a smart hub developed by Sonfi to integrate into their motors. We are using the RTS range. So it's a radio technology, Sonfi. Um, that, that answer your questions? Yes, and you also asked if Moto got warranty? Yes, Moto definitely have warranty. Sonfis offer 5 years warranty. Uh, we offer 5 years warranty, Moto mechanism for our zip lines. In fact, all Sonfi automation here comes with 5 years warranty. Like for 100 Luckless here, the automation uh, comes with 2 years warranty actually. So we have a lot of brands here which I will slowly, bit by bit, walk through you a little bit. Thanks for the question though, by the way. So, um, moving on. Showing you a little bit of my personal favorite range here. This is actually Hannah Douglas period range. So, I mean, the idea is to diffuse the light. Ah. Normally, this, normally, this is a live show. It's a bit quiet right now. So, uh, normally, if you have guests over here, we have clients over here, they'll be like, wow, similar, eh? I mean, this is a very beautiful piece. It's like a piece of art, actually. Very nice piece. Okay, the idea is to regularly maximize, you know, you don't compromise on the view. You see it, if you want to have a bit of privacy right now, I have, can close it fully, it gives me 100% privacy. This is what we call the semi-opaque fabric. So a lot of clients ask, AJ, but I can still see a bit of you know, shadows, light coming in. What if I want it to be very dark? You know, I want to put it in my bedroom. Can you make this very dark? The answer is yes, we can make it dark. So basically, we call it room darkening. You know? A bit of light is coming from the sides. La. That one, a bit, a bit more pain, la, that one. So something I can show you guys, one of my, a very cool app about Hannah Douglas actually, let me show you guys how it works actually. 
So normal integration, if you use your phone to integrate, like uh, let's say for some V motors in general, you know, the normal integration is just like up, down, or stop. So Honda Luckless, we have this thing called the power view. Take a look at this, you know. So you control the blinds by it like that, you know. This is what we call bi-directional system. So we go up to here halfway, the blinds will go to exactly this position on my phone. So you are very nice interface. So very popular for clients, you know, that stay in a very big house like bungalows, you know, that you know you want to help your 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 your, your daughter, your son, your kids to close the blinds, whatever. You can read the direction of the blinds. And the beauty of automation for me personally, I always let people know, you know, it's not just about showcasing a remote or sui or it's not just about that. Automation, you can set timer functions. You can do like uh, a lot of things that many system can never offer. I wouldn't go too technical. I should give you a very good example. So for instance, if you have a very big house, okay, let's not go so far. You know, let's say for instance, if you're seeing a HDB for instance, you know, like a forum HDB. You know, if you have the routine to you know, open up the blinds every single day in the morning, instead of doing that, you can set timer functions. For instance, every, every day at 7 a.m., your blinds will automatically roll up. To give you, you know whatever lighting that you want it to be in yes as a question yes will zip blinds cause the room to be dark and does it keep up noise will zip blinds cause the room to be dark well that is a another very good question thanks for asking that the answer is it depends on the location of the zip blinds and depends on your integration of a house you know if you're facing very strong lights constantly definitely zip lines won't really make a room dark per se. I mean, you'll still be able to see your hands, that's for sure. Lah. I mean, uh, we can be able to send you some photos if you need anything like that. For noise-wise, decibel-wise, it helps. It does help calm a little bit. But definitely, if not, you know, we we're not talking about 100% soundproofing over here. Lah. In terms of uh, decibel reduction, ah, yeah. There you guys, there you go. You can see a photo over here that we attach. So this is the amount of lights that will come in. Actually, it really depends, you know, and it depends on the perforation of the fabric you use over here. Most of the time in Singapore, people go for 1% perforated. Okay, to further elaborate on the 1% perforation so that for the people that are not so in-depth, you know, that they never do much research so far, zip lines, you know, in terms of the fabric-wise, it must definitely be perforated. So some clients always ask, like say, hey, Jay, you know, will water splash in? Will water come in? Etc. Etc. The answer in short is actually yes. It really depends on your configuration. So if you're staying at a very high level, if you face very strong wind, if you're like facing East Coast area, those area, very strong wind area, very strong wind load, definitely you're more prone, more prone to water seepage. How much water will it seep in? It's very hard to go and gauge in terms of percentage. There's no way you can measure that as well. But yeah, minimum. Lah. So always tell my clients, a little bit of seepage will still occur. It's a URA ruling, lah. so a bit open. Lah. But definitely, decibel-wise, yes, it does cut, cut a little bit, but if you're talking about really good decibel, you know, in terms of reduction, noise reduction, you should really consider, really, really, really consider uh, the honeycomb blinds. Ambient noise cut off about at least 45, 50%. Pretty decent, very, very good, in fact. So, moving on, guys, I wouldn't go too far. I wouldn't go too far on Hanadakulas. We have a lot of products over here, in fact. Uh, I will bring you straight, guys, right over to see another big brand. Right, come. Okay, so this is Toso from Japan. So I know a lot of you guys, you know, like Japan, you're a very nice country. I personally think Toso has one of the best mechanism in the industry, definitely hands down. Curtains wise, uh, in terms of the mechanism for their durability, you know, there's a joke that, you know, the Toso boss always say, they don't really do recurring business. <laughs> Meaning, you know, their blinds, their curtains in general, the track last 15, 20 years, easily. Uh, to name a few, uh, Shangri-La, Fullerton, Grand Hyatt, uh, these are the few hotels, big hotels that are using Toso mechanism actually. So, what you saw from Hanada Class earlier, Toso has them as well, but we are using pleated blinds. So, this is what we call pleated blinds, you see over here. You know? This is what we call half a honeycomb. So the question is, why do we use pleated blinds and when do we use honeycomb blinds? Noise reduction, insulation, hands down, honeycomb blinds, they're the best. If you talk about maintenance wise, pleated blinds, way easier, way easier. So let me showcase to you guys something awesome. This is a one touch mechanism from Toso. 
So it's one looping system controlling the whole entire mechanism. So I can have my natural lighting over here. If I want people to see my legs, you know, like a bit. I can always get them to see my legs over here. So it's actually very versatile. Likewise, same thing, color-wise, huge, huge, huge range. For those of you that are going for the very zen feel, for those of you that are going for the very, you know, resort kind of feeling, you definitely appreciate Toso, trust me. Hana Douglas is more like James Bond, <laughs> like Tony Stark. Uh, okay, guys, I should show you guys this area as well. This feature wall, quite nice, huh? A lot of my clients walk in and say, hey, what AJ, see me like, why the wall like? So, so many blinds hanging over here. This is actually a very new feature wall. Uh, we call this the LTEX Honeycomb feature wall. So likewise from Hunter Douglas, the duet range, we have our own brand as well, LTEX range. Same thing. Now you get to control the lightings and everything. Fully automated system. Huge tons of fabric selection as well. I wish you guys could come and see life over here i mean in general at night is really gorgeous i love it okay guys i want to show you guys something different yeah. okay okay so this is ransom experience center come see the word sure there ransom experience center it's actually newly launched newly launched it's first in the entire uh, Southeast Asia, I believe. So basically, uh, here is where we display the whole full suite. Okay, not full suite, but, uh, the solutions in terms of outdoor. This is where we display you know, for clients that have a bungalow, rooftop, terraces, and stuff like that. If you have like, uh, you stay in a penthouse, you know, you want to cover your entire attic area, your roofing area, you know, this is the solution to go for. I'll start off with my personal favorite. Come on. Okay, this is from the Kermak range from Renson, hands down my personal favorite. So basically, integration on the roof system over here. We can retract the whole roofing system back to one corner that's called Kermak Sky. Very versatile range, so you know, I always joke with my friends, say, hey, next time you know, in my house, well, if I well, stay in a very big house, have a very open space, we can sit down here, play mahjong, you know, we can eat steamboat and stuff like that. Very, very slick system. Uh, if you are a very technical guy, you definitely love Renson, trust me, because I'm a technical guy myself. Um, if you are someone that likes aesthetics as well, trust me, Renson is definitely, definitely, definitely the go-to system for you guys. You'll notice that uh, you almost don't see any nuts, uh, screws, bolts at all on Renson. Everything are fully integrated. We can even integrate the fixed screen from here. And this is also a zip blinds guy. Come, let me show you guys over here. So this is also a zip blinds. It's one of Renson's strongest systems. Fully integration. Come over here, guys. I'll show you the experience when you're inside here. We can integrate Logia doors from here as well. Manual system, very slick. Same thing likewise, if you're going for the very resort feeling, you will love them. In Japan, Renson is huge in Japan, by the way. The Kamak range, or the onsen area, resort area. Beautiful. Okay. Let me show you the lights and everything. Oops, it's a bit dark right now. So I can dim up the lights. You can choose warm lighting, white lighting, very integratable. We can do RGB lightings on the up down LED columns as well. We can do on the column LED. So from here, you can really experience, you know, it's a very, very nice, comfortable place. It helps to really maximize your outdoor space. Trust me, it's just gorgeous, it's beautiful. Moving on, I would like to show you guys one of the most Popular, most popular system uh, we, we sell over here, or rather we do the most in MC2. Come guys. Is this suitable to block out strong heat and sunlight? Is this suitable to block out strong heat and sunlight? Yes, the answer is yes. Okay, for, we talk about heat wise, it does a very, very good job in blocking out the heat. In, in fact, the fabric that we're using is fiberglass. So for some of you who ask, you know, what is fiberglass and what's the difference between the amount of fabrics that we have, or in the industry that people do. Normally, in common, people always use polyester vinyl fabric. 
So what's the difference? Actually, there's, there are pros and cons in both range to be frank with you. So internal usage, most of the time people use polyester. External usage, you will want to use fiberglass because fiberglass, why? Has a very high tensile strength, very high melting point. So over time, you know, if you go over, over past some older condos, so you no, notice some very like a bit jiao jiao, a bit like wavy down. Sometimes we call it the smiling face in the industry. Yeah, over time you start to lose, stretches over time, you know, fiberglass, the occurrence of it happening, way, 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 way lower, way lower. So for here in MC2, we only use fiberglass fabric for all our outdoor solutions, for our zip lines, uh, zip screens in general, uh, we all use outdoor solutions, we all use uh, only fiberglass fabric. Thanks for the question. <laughs> So how many people is watching right now? Listen. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm gonna showcase you guys uh, another cool system. A lot of people mistake this as the awning. So I'd like to take this opportunity to really address that right now. This is actually not an awning. It looks like one, but it is not one. So <laughs> this is Renson Le Pure system. <sighs> fully cover up, fully waterproof at the top. The beauty of this system is, okay, at the top, no matter how heavy the downpour is, how strong it is, okay, it will never pond, okay, it will never warp. It actually goes through a very slick, integrated system. All the water will actually go through a gutter, flush down, and run down through this column over here. So you will not see water coming off of the top, the sides, from the front, and stuff like that. Uh, LED lights on, off, your choice, basically, very customizable. In fact, guys, over here, like what I say, that's the beauty of Renson. Very integrated system. So you won't even notice that there's, there's a blinds there and you I press it down. Everything is hidden up to the head rail, to the top box. Very slick system. So some of you ask AJ, why this like green color, they don't red color, how? My house can put like that or not? If I want pink color, can or not? <laughs> Uh, we don't really have pink color fabric. Oh, the roofing can be pink. We don't really have pink color fabric here. But yeah, we have a huge, huge range. Then likewise, it all boils down to where you're staying. You know, is it a condo? Is it an EC? You know, are you restricted by management and stuff like that? If you are, then I'm sorry to say, unfortunately, you might have to follow a certain guidelines from your management community. You now we are always more conservative. We always tell our clients, say, hey, try not to go and hiong lah. <laughs> Later you cannot caught lah. Headache uh, for both sides. So, but having said, we have huge range, huge range over here. Then, I'd like to introduce a bit. Oh, on the, this place I'm sitting up, uh, over here earlier just now. It's from Ohm actually. But let me see on this thing if you can on. Okay, so the sofa that I'm sitting over here right just now earlier. Uh, this is from Ohm. Ohm Furnitures. Okay, we do have them here as well in recent collaborations with Ohm. Uh, I show you my personal favorite. I have a lot of personal favorite. They all happen to be in my show, showroom. Come guys. Oh. Oh. I swear guys, I really wish you can come here and sit there right now and you feel it. Oh, freaking love it, man. I hope this live show, you know, can, you can just switch it off and you can just sleep right now. <laughs> so, very customizable. These are outdoor furnitures from Ohm, handcrafted by the best weavers in the world from Cebu. Uh, and the beauty of Ohm, in fact, every single model from them, actually they come with a... Okay, let me see if we can see you guys over here. With a barcode, like at the back, at the bottom here, you see? At the bottom here. You know, this is actually to show the quality check on every single product, you know, like, it's like you buy a watch, you know, like the first 500 pieces, blah, 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 here, here and there. So definitely a very, very good integrated, you know, nice product, in fact, in general. So, we have any questions from the phone? <laughs> uh, guys, I want to show you guys some stuff here as well. We have decking solution flooring solution like what you saw earlier on those feature was actually yeah, uh, here we have flooring solution decking over here this are WPC deck so in long term it's a wood plastic composition it's actually one of the most popular popular range right now uh, one of the most popular products you see out there condos they all use them in general the so, comfortable can put in balcony go different size uh, the swing chair is really very comfortable 
uh, can I put it balcony? Definitely, it's for outdoor purposes. Uh, in fact, you know, like Marina Bay Sands, the Infinity Pool, uh, the whole deck, those furniture out there, those are actually from home. Sure, right. Uh, size wise, unfortunately, home uh, for this piece over here, we only have one size, it's the half moon. Um, we don't have any other, uh, other size. If you guys need any dimensions and stuff like that, please do PM us. We have a whole list of tech specs, dimensions. In fact, ohm selection is pretty crazy. Huge, huge, huge range. Yeah. So thanks again for that question. Show you a bit of, uh, since you are here, we happen to be here, show you a bit on Ransom's roofing blades system. Uh, we have a lot over here. Let me show you guys a few. These are only just a few of Ransom's uh, blades roofing system, actually. So we have also the RL color codes, you know, in fact, if you want to go for the very luxurious wooden kind of grading, these are all aluminum, by the way, guys. So take a look. It looks like wood. Yeah. Very nice. In fact, I know that we have a team over at Belgium right now. <laughs> we have a team of installers over at Belgium right now undergoing some training from the Belgium. So if you, you guys are watching, uh, Justin, Ahue, you guys, you guys are watching live right now. Hello. Say my regards to Frank from Belgium. So, okay, this guys, this Ellen, by the way. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> Warner, by the way, guys. Uh, we have a lot of stuff you know, over here. So, moving on. Zip lines have automatic rain sensor. Yes, zip lines do come with rain sensor. In fact, I'm not too sure if I have. I, think we, uh, I don't have it over here. Yeah, we do have. The rain sensor from Somfy. Oh, guys, over here. So this is the rain sensor. We call it on desk from Somfy. It's a wireless system. Uh, they have the wired one as well. But uh, here normally in Singapore, we use the wireless system. So it's a solar powered system. So for those of you who ask, a hey, allow AJ, and a little battery, more battery, and how? Yeah, you don't have to worry, worry, worry about that. Solar powered. Uh, I would like to also debunk some myth or stuff you hear from you know, some online page and stuff like that. Some clients ask me, hey, what if little my range too too small, you know, the pressure is not strong enough, as a try, as a try, there and there. Will my blind still come down? In short, yes, it depends on your configuration. So we can actually adjust the sensitivity of the sensor. And these are all via pressure actually. It's not just water droplets. So basically, under strong pressure, in general, you will actually be able to enclose the blinds now. Very functional system, it should attach outside the frame like that. So when the water comes down, you know, things goes in. Pretty straightforward. So what do you guys do? Oh, uh, experience center. Wait, uh, guys. Whoa. Whoa. What do do? Okay, I hope this answers your question, by the way. This is our sensor slide. It's a really sense sensor, by the way. You know, in Singapore, context-wise, we normally switch off, switch off the sun sensor. But in Europe, it's actually tomatic. <laughs> they are not too concerned about the rain seepage, but more under the sun. So, guys, it's a rain and sun sensor under one, under one system. On this, very functional, practical. Thanks for the question. Can zip blinds keep off insect? Yes, it keeps off the insect beautifully. So, like I said, no. For those of you who have concerns on like uh, insect coming in, you know, especially the patio area, ground level units, trust me, a lot of my clients that from ground level and they say, hey, actually my main concern is not, not on the rain, it's not on the sun, it's actually more towards keeping off the insects. You know, so yes, in short, zip lines in general will help you keep off the insects, the mosquitoes, the dust, you know, haze, etc. stuff like that. It does a beautiful job. So it's not just integration on uh, rain and stuff. In fact, in fact, I like to link into something. It actually helps to contain the air conditioning in as well. So if you have a very outdoor open space, if your living room is not very big, you know, for instance, if you want to really like invite your, your guests over to mingle your house and you find, hey, I need some additional space. Zip lines application will actually allow you to do that. It actually give you the kind of additional space that you need. So when it's fully down, you can on your air condition, you can open your sliding glass, your doors and stuff like that. You can fully maximize the space. Put a dining table outside, whatever you want to do elsewhere. Yep, Someone very good integration. Someone wants, 
Jay. Yep. Ransom are all watching from all over the world. Canada is watching also. Hey guys. Hi guys. Uh, from <laughs> How's it like weather like in Belgium uh, or in Canada? I've never been to Canada in fact actually. Oh, the roof. Ransom, guys. I'm not too sure if your experience center have our roofing or not. I think it looks us on that. Lah. Okay, uh, decking color, we have seven colors here for the WPC. We have the Chang'ai one as well. We don't display them here in our showroom. We have the tick as well, tick wood from... Uh, yeah, so pretty straightforward. In fact, uh, in the industry for WPC color wise, I think you mostly only see like three or four colors. We have them in seven colors. Uh, they are all PE material, solid, mm, green guard. Um, yeah, so it's actually a bit different. I mean, you have to come down to actually remove your slippers or shoes to you know feel like it in general. Actually, I do know some of you guys are actually also asking like, "Hey, how come I come to your showroom? Uh, I see like Sono speakers, or I see like sometimes I see some website, no website. I see Sono speakers." Uh, <laughs> We actually have them here, so so we are quite a full suite actually. So if your interior, you know, your house in general, this is a subwoofer. We have all our Sonos speakers, outdoor speakers over here, the outdoor ones. Yeah, so actually, really, we do a very wide range of stuff over here. Not only just main, but main main focus is of course definitely blinds, curtains. We are manufacturers ourselves. You no, know, we even have wallpaper. I won't go to too in depth with you guys, lah. Is there a size limit for the zip lines like this and height? Zip lines, is there a size limit? Yes, there is a size limit. In fact, anything you guys do, there's a size limit for any products you go out of there. So sometimes people come in and say, hey Jay, you know, I want to do a 10 meter roller blind, can or not? Actually the answer in short actually is can, uh, to be very frank with you, but it uh, depends on the material you choose. So likewise, like I said, I wouldn't go too technical today, but for zip lines in general, for LTEX Secure Zip, we're actually very comfortable with 4 meter width, the height, Five meter, not a problem. For Renson system, uh, six meter by six meter, uh, not an issue actually. The width six meter, height six meter, not a problem. Where is your showroom if they want to come down? We are actually located at 33 Ubi Avenue 3, Vertex Building, just slightly opposite Paya Lebar Fire Station. I don't know if I'm going to open my door, let's show you guys or not. <laughs> you okay, guys, uh, seriously, this question is. Actually, you know, I have a lot of call in. Sometimes people ask, Hey guys, I've been like touring around the text building for so long and I can't find you guys. Where on earth are you guys located at? <laughs> the text building is actually, you know, the first time around when I came here, so it's a bit complicated for me, you know, it's a bit industrial. But, yep, if you find Paileba Fire Station, you find us, put it that way. <laughs> The most common thing you know if you want to find look at us is the easier way is you know if you see Selini, Selini is at the other entrance, you go straight all the way. So Vertex has you see like this entrance over here. You see there's this gantry here with another gantry at the other side. Two gantries over here in Vertex. Yep, so if you can see this gantry, you find us naturally. We are located just along the road sides over here. Do we do invisible grills? Yes, we do invisible grills here as well. Uh, 316 stainless steel nylon membrane. Invisible grills, to be very frank, uh, I'm not a very huge fan eh, sometimes. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, 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 mean uh, I don't have a kid or a child or anything. Lah. So, for those of you guys, of course, definitely, if you are, you know, if your main priority is on safety, don't get me wrong, please go ahead with invisible grills installation. And in fact, this question is very good as well. Why? Because the common, most common questions we have from clients is actually asking, AJ, can I do zip blinds now if I have existing invisible grills here? Or if I have a new house, but I have the intention to build invisible grills, can I still have the zip blinds? Yes, the answer is yes, actually. You can still have the zip blinds on. So most of the time, the grills will be mounted onto the curb. The blinds will then be onto the floor. But in short, definitely doable. La. Not too sure if you can attach any photos, I think. Yeah. You can be able to see some of the installation that we did with Invisible Girls 
actually. Not the issues. We even did before. I even did before my family. Invisible Girls, the rules catered from the details that gave them and zip lines as well. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, we'll show you some photos shortly, guys. Wait, ah. Uh. We fell off. Yes, guys, okay. This is what I'm talking about. The invisible girls with the zip lines. Okay, it's fully up right now, so maybe you don't see that often, but okay, you will be able to see like the frames and everything. Yep. So another common question that people have actually, they ask, like, hey, Jay, uh, how many panels do I need for my balcony? Or how many panels do I need to cater for my balcony? Let's say, for instance, if my balcony size is 12 meter long, how many panels do I need? How many panels will you need really depends on okay, which level you're staying. I mean, and it depends on the system that you're going for. In short, actually, to be very frank, like 12 meter, if you are using Ransom system, the 150 EVO, we can go up to two panels actually, six meters, six meters each. But a lot of times we're actually restricted. We're actually restricted to the staircase turning radius and the lift turning radius. Like a recent, we talked about the recent ones, like, okay, the recent projects that we did, like Alps Residences, uh, their lift limitation is about 2.9. The staircase is about 3.3 .3 meters. So technically speaking, this means what? Uh, this means if your balcony is at 3.5 meters, okay, and you want to do one piece. The answer is actually uh, we can't do it because we have actually we are actually restricted to the turning radius of the staircase, so we can't bring it up to the house. Of course, you know if you are like level one or this, no problem lah. In fact, ground level people always ask Jay, I have a gate at there. So how do you guys normally address those concerns as well? Okay, here please look at the attach photo we have over here. So normally clients it's actually very. Really Subjective, you know, where I have clients that say, AJ, hey, I want to have like just one, just two panels will do, you know, my gate, I don't want to do individual panel. Can or not? Can, of course, you can. But of course, having said, guys, uh, this also boils down to whether your developer allows such integration because uh, sometimes they need to standardize, uh, like from uh, UL developer, these are very strict developers, you know, they like to, they're all about, you know, uniformity, must be, you know, very slick. Every unit type must be the same kind of size, same blah, 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 here and there. So, like I said, uh, please do check with your relevant management if you have one. If not, if you think that your relevant management really will chat one, uh, please go ahead, guys. We are definitely here to assist. Yep. So, a lot of integrations that we can play around with in general. I will definitely advise you guys, in short, to really visit our showroom. Can we do high ceiling? Can we do high ceiling? Yes, we can do real high ceiling. Okay, uh, not like 20, 30 meters high, that kind of high, high, but uh, like you can see, see this is actually one of the projects that we did uh, over at Forest Wood. This is actually a six meter. High is a six meter, yeah. So, very nice piece. It's a six meter, uh, full height. Maximum we can go six meter, yeah, using the 150 EVO from Ransom. So, if uh, and Ransom guys are still watching, right, from Belgium. <laughs> Guys, your staff are good, solid, love them. Uh, we also have a lot of, like, we do a lot of small little brochure over here actually for our clients, you know, for easy understanding, because sometimes a bit lost, well, to be frank with you. Sometimes you know, I can go a bit of like, I can go very in depth, technical stuff, but to be very frank, not all people want to, not all, not all people are that technical. So we have like brochures for your better understanding, a very simple one. Nothing too technical, uh, it actually showcases you know, how to integrate or rather how people use them to integrate and stuff like that. You know, the different type of brands we carry, like from Mermet, Copaco, the Obstacle. They oh yeah, guys, wow, that's why this brochure is good it's like that. <laughs> we have the Obstacle Detections Motto from Somfi. It's actually uh, called Mastro Motto. It's Somfi's latest motto designed specifically for zip lines application only. Do you guys want to take a look at it? Yes, right. Okay, come. Sorry, I have to trouble you to join me up at level two again at LTEX Experience Center. I'm here. A lot of people also ask, hey, where you, where you, where you guys do all this? Uh? We don't do that. Uh. <laughs> That's probably the only thing in the showroom that we don't really do here. Uh, maybe I'll share with you guys a little bit more on the obstacle section and how it looks, how it works in general.
So I know I'm, and I'm aware that a lot of you guys actually, you know, a lot of clients that come in and say AJ. So, do you guys like have any obstacle detection system or what is the pros and cons and stuff like that? Actually, to be frank with you, there's there's not much con in this, this system. Like it's a very nice system. Uh, it's very it's designed for er different needs to be very frank. So if you have like furniture outside, very expensive ones for instance, uh, or if you have the tendency to forget to push in your chair, you know, like some people like they stand up right, they're like, hey, they, they, they do that. Uh, I always have the habit of pushing back my chair. La. So I give you a very short example of how it looks like. So this ob obstacle detected, if I have a furniture over here, and if the blinds comes down, it shuts, okay? If it hits the furniture, for instance, stops, it goes back up again. Okay, one reset, one, uh, one revolution. So the common questions that people have is, AJ, hey, if my baby uh, or if my kid uh, if, like, put a head here like that, then the blinds come down, hit, how? Will stop or not? Actually, to be frank with you, uh, actually, uh, I need to address that right now. Actually, it's very important. It won't stop actually because how obstacle detection works is via pressure. Okay, I know. I'm sorry, guys. I promise not to go too technical, but I think it's very good to know because it's actually very common. Most of the time, the owners they don't care about the furniture they have. They care more towards like the pets, like the dogs and cats and stuff like that. So, a very good example. If I press down, I put my hand right here right now. You know, so you notice it, it, it won't stop. It won't stop. It will take a mile, a certain amount of force and restriction on the automation to detect. Then the blinds will then stop. But of course, I, mean, I always tell my clients, I say, ah, yeah, run, ah. I mean, we are human beings, correct or not? If he asks, right, naturally we are self ready, cannot be the blinds come out, we still put our head there, and then he hit and stuff like that. So, yeah, I hope this actually address certain questions that you guys have. In fact, a lot of my clients always ask me that. So, okay, without further ado, guys, uh, I don't think I'll take up much of your time anymore. Uh, please continue to like and share if you have any friends that is in need of a system like this in general and stuff like that. Especially this thing, I seriously, I really need to showcase this, this thing one more time. Look, 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 look. <laughs> yeah, so if you have any friends, that, or if any relative, whatever, that, that, you know, that you think that, hey, they might need certain solutions that we have to offer, please guys, like and share, because, okay, we'll be coming up with a few series itself, uh, addressing, certain stuff like for instance uh maybe uh, addressing certain stuff like maybe uh, smart home automation we can address how to operate a manual system properly there are actually a lot of technical stuff okay before i end and i wrap up this whole short demo session i'd like to show you guys something cool hey google hey google Thunder. Hey Google. Hey Cool, right? All right, guys. Seriously, thank you so much for making the time to you know to join us over here at this short little demo session that we have. Uh, like I said, nothing too technical, nothing too in depth. Uh, just a very short explanation and to actually answer certain questions and concerns that you guys might have. Okay, so thank you, guys. Stay blessed. Please take care. Thank you. Bye.